Uh, one other point I'd like to make is that when we hear people talking about anti-Semitic, that's a misnomer. Only, only ignorant people would use that term, anti-Semitic. People who are educated should not use that term, anti-Semitic. There's a world of difference between being anti-Semitic and anti-Jewish. Anti-Jewish is one thing. Anti-Semitic is a totally different subject completely. Semitic is, is a bloodline of at least 13 different races of people. 13 different uh, peoples of the world are classified as Semitic. So if you say you're anti-Semitic or somebody calls you anti-Semitic, it means you're anti-Arabic, you're anti... Uh, um, I mean, you go down the line, go to the Indy Good Dictionary and look up Semitic and it will give you all the names of the races of people in the world who are Semitic. Um, and so, to call someone anti-Semitic is very foolish, it's very ignorant. You can tell the education of a person. Uh, if they say something against the Jew, they're not anti-Semitic, they're anti-Jewish. Well, the majority of the Jews um, currently living in Europe and America are not even Semites. They're they're Khazars. Yeah, and it's it's true though. I mean, uh, that's that's a fact. Is that uh, uh, that what is it? Four fifths of all Jews on the earth are not Semitic. Only one fifth of the Jews on the earth are Semitic, and that one fifth is just you know part of a whole line of Semitic races and people. So um, you know. And, Henry Kissinger does not look Arabic to me. He does not look like... No, he's, he's as Khazar as they come. <laughs> yeah, and, and so uh, all of the leaders of the Zionist movement do, uh, do not appear to be, uh, you know, dark complected, dark complected and, and wearing, uh, wearing their regalia of the Arabic peoples. They look very much uh, Eastern European. They, oh, they come out of the Caucasus, and it, it, only it only depends on whether or not you went north, south, or east as to whether you're Bulgar, Khazar, or Mygar. That's right. You know, my, Mygars are obviously the, the Hungarians, and the, you know, the Bulgars are quite obviously the Bulgarians, and the Khazars don't technically exist anymore, but they become the Ashkenazi. That's right. And yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing how many Jews don't know that. I know. I, as, I, as I said, I used to sit and talk with rabbis over at the Simon Wiesenthal Center for Holocaust Studies. I go over there and sit for hours and just, uh, you know, throw questions at them, and, uh, you know, they would answer you, they would, they would be honest, they would answer, yeah, you're right, so. Uh, but, I mean, even, even within that system, there is more than one way to read the scriptures. Um, you can read them mathematically, you can read them um, literally, yeah. which, is, which is how, you know, that's interpreted to the, to the common man, but, you know, once you reach a certain age, first you have to be male, and then you have to be of a certain age, and then... They're going to let you in on, you know, some of the other meetings, but only if you're a top student. Yeah, the more and, and, we but change, I mean, if you, sorry. The more we change, the more we stay the same. That's mm -hmm. where it's always been. Well, it was like I was, I was saying to you the other day, you know, that, that, that made me think of, you know, why tut Moses? And then it, 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 it I see the Moses above your head there, and it, and it, it, it made me think, oh, well, maybe tut Moses is, is, is related to Moses, to Moshe, mm -hmm. to the, to the, to the priesthood, and maybe that's the reason that they're showing the um, Tutmosis as as that particular pharaoh in London, you know. Um. Yeah, and of course, if you go back to Mount Sinai, I mean, I've got a whole bunch of information on that on my video uh, about Mos about oh, Moses. Plug your videos. Huh? Oh yeah, I got a lot of a uh, lot of uh, controversial videos at best. They're controversial. Uh, just go on my website, jordanmaxwell.com, J-O-R-D-A-N, like the river, Jordan, Maxwell, M-A-X-W-E-L-L, -L, jordanmaxwell.com, and go to uh, What's New, there's a button at the top that says What's New, and if you're going to go on my website, go all through it, there's all kinds of material there, most people don't see because they don't go through my website, they go to the home page to see a picture and that's it. But my website's filled with all kinds of documentation on the kind of stuff I'm talking about. With pictures and diagrams showing you where religious symbols come from, what, what's really going on in the world behind the scenes. Alright, now I just have to ask one more question. and I, I, I promised a good friend of mine who was on Skype with me today. He said, you're going to see Jordan Maxwell. I have a list of questions. And I said, I, I will ask one for you. And he was, he was interested in, um, in the, um, the priesthood of the Illus. Um, which um, 
Uh, also, there's a nice yeah. little illustration above uh, that he's he's read that and he's absolutely fascinated by it, and he wanted to know a little bit more about the druidic connection um, between current day society and 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 how that that manifested. Oh yeah, that, well, that's a, that's one heck of a story. I'm sorry to no, yeah, to hit that, you with that, that, that at the end. For hours, that could. Uh, I would suggest to you uh, anyone interested in that whole druidic story, and like I've said, the druids were a very powerful priesthood in Europe. Uh, all over Europe for even before the Roman Empire existed and they still are today governing Europe. It's a druidic system, the Druids. We today in America think of Druids as a little cult, a little group. No, no, no. I'm talking about, we're talking about the British government at the very top. We're talking about the French and German government at the very top is a Druid system. The words and terms and symbols are all Druidic. And in America, we are very powerful Druid presence in American government and entertainment and education. So it's a lot bigger than you think. And as I've said once before, that um, one of the most important symbols in the Druid religion was a magic wand, like Merlin the magician with his magic wand. It's the same magic wand that conductors of the of orchestras use the magic wand. So you dance to the tune of the master. You don't play anything till he points, until he asks you to, until he tells you to. Magic wands were always made out of the wood of a holly tree. It was made out of Hollywood. And that's the name of the tune. Hollywood is a druidic establishment. And we're not that far from the Hollywood sign we're here very, in, very close. in L.A. Yep, I've been here for 50, over 50 years now. And um, <clears throat> so... Uh, the thing I would suggest is to go on my website to What's New and got all my videos there. And if you're interested in the kind of subject we're talking about, uh, all my videos are there. And there's a little explanation for each video, what it's about. So just go on my website, jordanmaxwell.com and read and, uh, and, and you will see all the different uh, videos and books, but it will have a little notations telling you what it's all about. Yeah, and and I, I really, I, I cannot recommend enough to uh, to all our listeners here, all of his all of his videos and books, um, the basic slideshow presentation, great place to start. If, if you're looking for some basic information, you want to get a little deeper into it, Dawn of a New Day, really inter interesting information on sun symbolism, on communism, and how these things are all connected. I really suggest that all of the listeners out there who are interested in educating themselves have a look at this man's website, buy some of his um, materials, get some of these films, watch them, read some of these books, because it's a life changer, folks. Thank you so much, Jordan. Well, thank you for allowing me to be with you.